I'm testing out flow tours with low latency,cy low bandwidth uh, downstream, just to see what the latency would be like. Normally, there might be a delay from YouTube that might be 20 seconds. It could even be up to 30 seconds. So, we do live stream through something like Facebook or YouTube. Um, there's a significant delay between the time that you broadcast and the time that your audience receives it, which makes it difficult to do interactive things such as video conferencing. I'm transmitting the signal from Palo Alto, California over to Frankfurt, Germany, and receiving it back in Palo Alto, California. So it's going both ways, right? From California to Europe, and then back from Europe to California. So the round trip time of this is about two seconds. I'm also gonna walk around and switch the Ricoh Theta Z1 through different hotspots in my office. Uh, due to it switching between different hotspots and the low general bandwidth uh, that I have from Frankfurt over to Palo Alto, we're getting some pixelation on the, the video. But this is a early test of this type of technology. And, and the early tests were just focused on low latency. I'm only getting five megabits a second between Frankfurt and Palo Alto, although my general downlink within California is about 70 or 80 megabits a second. At the primary focus of this test is low latency to see whether we can get the latency under uh, two seconds. We didn't use any type of server in the United States or we didn't try to set up anything else which would dramatically increase the resolution and reduce the pixelation. So if you see any pixelation, this is only a result of the transmission from California to Germany and back again over a low bandwidth network. Although inside of the United States, my uh, downstream bandwidth is about 70 megabits a second, the connection between the German server and this office here is only about five megabits a second. So that's why we see some loss of resolution when I'm walking around the building. Also, walking around the building, I'm going through different hotspots. But what we're trying to show is that it can work at all. Like you can use a mobile direct from the Ricoh Theta camera using Wi-Fi. You could be using mobile data and walking around with low latency, which would make a tour or uh, interaction with your audience much easier. I'm also using a mesh network here. And we don't have this thing tuned in the office to switch between the different Wi-Fi hotspots in the mesh. So sometimes you're going to see this pixelation because it's switching over to another hotspot within the same mesh network within the office. I think we can get a lot better um, resolution with the, by tuning the network, both on the general internet as well as within the office. But this is a great result for early stage here, looking at the Flow Tours low latency live streaming system with the Ricoh Theta Z1. As the Flow Tour systems evolve, we'll be adding additional tests for mobile, maybe 4G or 5G mobile networks and see how it performs over that. So initially our tests are just over Wi-Fi and we're focused on the latency. So on the left-hand panel of the screen is what I'm seeing, it's, it's a live stream. I have the camera right in front of the computer screen. So on the right-hand side, I just have this online stopwatch and I'm facing one of the lenses of the camera at the stopwatch. And then the camera sends the stopwatch video uh, stream over to Germany and comes back to Palo Alto. So on the left-hand side, it's what I see. So if you subtract, the two different time differences, you'll get an idea of the latency. And in that, I have a webcam, so you can see what the camera looks like in front of the monitor on the lower right-hand side of the video. If you're interested in live streaming technology, we have a live streaming event on November 16th. It's free, it's at 2 p.m., it will be recorded. But if you join it, you'll be able to ask more questions and we'll try to answer it live. The event will also be done from Ricoh Theta Z1 using the Z1 microphones. I'll be broadcast over Wi-Fi. 
using YouTube. The event information is in the description. Hopefully we'll see you there.